Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make money off the Steam community market by using buy orders. So I'm going to, in order to keep this video as short as possible, I'm going to give you a basic summary of how this works and then I'm going to go into details of why this actually works the way that it does. So Steam has certain items like these Operation Hydra cases and these items sell in high quantity meaning that thousands of them are sold per day and they're going up in price. So as you can see they They've been about nine cents and they went up all the way to over a dollar. And what you can essentially do is because, by the way, Steam allows you to have 10 times as many buy orders as you have money. So if you have $10 in your Steam wallet, you can have up to $100 worth of buy orders. So what you can do is you can find these items on Steam, the items that are selling a lot of like thousands per day and that are going up in price. And you can create buy orders for significantly less of what the item is actually worth. So if you created a buy order for this item for 65 cents, your buy order would have a chance of getting filled. Because some people, whenever you have thousands of these are sold per day, some people are going to be selling these for significantly less than what they're selling for in the market. And somebody has to get that, right? If somebody sells this for 50 cents, and some people do, somebody still has to receive it. And you will have a chance of getting that. Now, the way that the buy order system works, you have to have your buy order for a very long time on the market before it would actually get filled. So if you were to create a buy order right now for 65 cents and somebody actually put up an item for, for 65 cents, you would not get it because your priority to get your items to get your order filled is very low. So an order has to stay in the market for quite a while before it actually gets filled. So that's the basic outline of it. You, you make a lot of orders because you can make so many buy orders on Steam 10 times as much money as you have. You make a bunch of buy orders for significantly less than what items are selling for and all you have to do is make sure that the, that the items don't drop in price. If they do start dropping in price, you remove your buy order or you lower it. And essentially you can buy items, instantly resell them and make a little bit of profit. That's how it works. So now I'm going to go into detail of how this actually, how this uh, algorithm actually works that fills your buy orders and I think that this is pretty interesting. So. If you have a buy order on Steam right now for 98 cents and somebody posts an item for 96 cents, you will not actually get that item, at least not for this case, not for this specific item. Because the way that the algorithm works is whenever you have a lot of items being sold, it's going to try to give you exactly the price that you're willing to pay for the item. So if somebody wants it for 98 cents and somebody else posts it for 96 cents, it will give it to the guy that's willing to pay exactly 90, 96 cents. Uh, in items that are tra that are trading in less quantity, so a few dozen per day, for example, the guy who's willing to pay the highest price usually gets the item, regardless of what the price is. But this is a little bit different. So if you if you were to put a buy order for significantly less than what these items are selling for, if somebody were to post it for 65 cents, you could actually get it. So let's say that there's a guy who's willing to buy the item for 70 cents. Let's say there's another guy who's with, who's willing to buy it for 80, and another guy who's willing to buy it for 90. If somebody posts the item for let's say 50 cents, and this does happen, 50 cents, right? Somebody posts it. It has to go to somebody. Somebody has to get it. And not necessarily the guy who's willing to pay exactly 50. It might give it to somebody else. So the way that it works, let's say all of these orders have been on the Steam market for one week, right? So all of them have the same priority. If if one of these orders is older or significantly older, let's say that this let's say that the 70 cent order is two months old, whereas these two are two weeks, the 70 cent guy will get it for 50 cents. Um, let's say these are all a week, right? If these are all a week, then what essentially ends up happening, I believe this is how this works, I don't actually have proof, is the 90 cent guy will get this item roughly 80% of the time. This is how I think it works. I don't have proof, but I've looked at the market for quite a while and I believe this is how it works. Uh, the 80 cent guy has like a, probably a 10% chance and then the 70 guy, 70 cent guy also has like a 10% chance, roughly. And that's kind of how it works, I believe. And because of this, the older your buy order, the better, right? So if you had a very old buy order for 70 cents, then whenever somebody posts it for 50, you have a higher chance of getting it for 50. And if, if you're willing to pay 70 cents for an item and somebody posts it for 50, you get it for 50. Uh, I've, been, I've been buying keys on the Steam market, like a, a very long time ago I was buying keys, not these keys, but uh, the regular default keys on Steam. And these sell for about $2.50, they were selling, for, selling a little bit less than that. But I had a buy order for like $2.40 and somebody posted it for $0.05 cents, and I actually ended up getting that key. So I got, a, I got an item that was selling on the Steam market for about $2.50, I got it for $0.05. Cents. 
because somebody for whatever reason ended up posting one on the market and my buy order was a little bit old so I don't know why somebody would post it for five cents but people do and that's basically how it works hopefully this helps if you guys want to do this you can this is very low risk you have to devote a little bit of time every once in a while to make sure that your orders don't get filled uh, whenever items start dropping in price you don't want your orders to actually get filled you want to remove them so you could do this if you have a little bit of extra money lying around in steam and you want to mess around with it if you have some extra time this is definitely a viable strategy it will take quite a while before your orders will get filled so keep that in consideration but the longer that they that they are on the steam market the higher of a chance you have of them actually being filled also don't be too greedy if somebody is selling if something is selling for like a dollar don't put your buy order at like 30 cents right you want to put your buy order at a point where you can make a decent amount of money but you're not going to you're not going to be competing with a bunch of other different people so you want to ideally be like you know if it, if the item is selling for a dollar you want to be like in the in the 60 65 cent range because if you if you put it, if you if you put it for less there's significantly more competition so it's kind of a, an interesting game in a way and try it out if you're interested you have very little risk of actually losing money so it's something that you can do that you can try out there's a 13% steam fee keep that in mind but yeah that's it